In the heart of Iowa sits a small town called Farrar. Near the edge of town sits a sleepy brick fortress, shrouded in mystery. The only identifier is a lone blue sign with the words Farrar Elementary. Welcome to the Farrar School. This building was built in 1921 and the doors opened in 1922. Now some explain the opening to be exploded with cheers and jeers. It was the first building to have indoor plumbing and heat. And it was quite the trophy to this area. During the 80 years that the school was in operation, it hosted all grades, dances, community gatherings, and many other events. The doors closed in 2002, but soon to open again to paranormal investigators. Imagine the thousands of kids running up and down this staircase. With both the entrance and exit at the bottom of it, the wide array of emotions would be crazy. Possibly sadness as they walked in this door to start class in the morning, and all the excitement at the end of the day is they got to walk down these steps, walk through those doors, and go home. My name is BJ Hall. I went to school here from 97 to 2000. There, I mean, it was fourth, fifth, sixth grade. There were probably about 20 kids per class. Uh, the kids would talk about it, um, like just as being young kids and not knowing too much. We kind of joke with each other, like, oh, what if this place is haunted? I mean, what if there's actually something going on here? And then, like, there'd be times when, like, sit in the middle of the class, the door would slowly open up, and, uh, Everyone would kind of be like, oh, that's the ghost. That's got to be the ghost. What? Are the you fudge? kidding me? What the f man? Who the f was that? Oh, you son of a bitch. Who the hell is that? Huh? We're up on the third floor probably about five minutes, and I was up by the principal's office, and I could hear somebody messing with the door going down to downstairs. So I, I walked over to the door, or to the stairwell, and I was, I was filming down it. And I could, like I said, I could hear someone messing with the door. The next thing I know, it was it was opened and slammed. Um, I immediately was drawn back, um, very shaken up by it. Ran downstairs to see who was there, and you know there was nobody there whatsoever. And there was a um, a small wooden board just at the last step, just sitting on the floor. We it was there all night. We saw it, and like I said, two of our investigators, myself one included, were already in the principal's office, and the other three were on the steps. And this board was pickup was picked up and it was thrown literally down the hallway you could it was unmistakable it, it wasn't like stepped on and like kicked with a foot it was actually picked up and thrown you could hear it being turned over it was just an unmistakable sounds Oh my god, it was that thing on the bottom of the stairs. There's there was a wood plank There's down here. There. There's a board down here. She was already Seems like every time I go there, it just keeps getting a little crazier. You can hardly step foot inside of this gym without imagining the thousands of PE classes, the basketball games, the chairs, the booze, and all of those things combined in this one place. Not to mention the original Harlem Globetrotters played right in this gym. First night in the Ferrar school was terrifying. Um, when I first got here, I, I didn't expect there to be anything dark or malicious or harmful or pervy to be here. And uh, I, I definitely found out later that night that there's something darker here. Um, a lot of the night I was touched, grabbed, like, I was starting to get mad because I felt like I was being violated. And 
there's just, there's no words to describe the feeling that is up on the third floor in the school. Dude, I don't want to freak you out, but... Are you serious? What? Battery's blinking. What? I just had 47 minutes. Are you kidding? Dude, is it sucking Oof, up to uh... <gasps> oh, oh my god! Oh my god, there's someone behind me! I'm not kidding you. I saw a man's face. Oh my god. I'm sorry. We're still recording. I'm really sorry, but... Oh my god. No wonder I feel like crap. Dude, I gotta turn the light on. I'm not kidding. The craziest thing that I've ever experienced or seen in the school would definitely have to be seeing the, the apparition of the principal. Um, to be standing alone with a teammate and watch this dark shadow appear behind him was one thing, but to literally watch that dark shadow form into a full, solid human being was just one, terrifying, and two, completely indescribable. Of all the activity in the school, the interaction with darker spirits seems to be most prevalent. The encounters tend to be a man believed to be an evil principal from a certain time period named Wes, and also having run-ins with a perverted janitor. You just made a tapping noise in here, and we're in here now. Can you make a noise? Something? For some reason, dude, it like, keeps leading us into this room. Because I remember earlier when we were over in the hall, we heard a noise and we came into here. Do you, know, you guys remember that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sound, I don't know, dude. It sounded like downstairs. Right, let's go. Dude, this, who's trying to communicate with us? That was that locked. locked. Dude, what was that? Check the lockers. Oh, dude, what's going on? Oh, the no. Did you just move the broom? Was that the, the noise? That, 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 that was definitely the noise. Dude, I don't feel good. You don't? I really don't. Here, let's dude, go. let's just let's stop. Go. Let's stop. My battery's about to die. We can't stop. Dude, no, dude. Like, I started walking to the janitor's room for no reason. Like, ugh. On the second floor, we captured a loud voice of a little girl. And finally, on the second floor, we captured a locker opening. It is very hard to see, but when I speed it up and play it in forwards and reverse, it is then very easy to see. Since opening for investigations in 2010, many people have reported interactions with those who they believe to be the former students and teachers who used to roam these hallways. Sense. That's it's usually nice. like, uh, okay, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Wes? You want us back out here? Or do you just want the attention? Because we weren't giving you the attention. It's your way to the highway, ain't boss? Like a door shutting or something. Up on the third floor, it just, there was a real ominous feeling, almost like we were being watched the entire time. And as I'm going through this with a, almost a, a little bit of skepticism, it just, it felt like something bad was in here. Something was watching us. Something did not want us to be digging around. Absolutely, when I left, the Ferrar school that night, I was 100% convinced that the place was haunted. In fact, I distinctly remember walking out to my car. It was still dark out, I was alone. And I was 
almost scared that somebody is going to be in my back seat. I got in the car and I didn't even want to look in the rear view at the school. I just could not wait to get out of here. All the times that I have investigated here, I, I can't say that I've ever been disappointed. Um, it seems like the more you come, the more you uncover, and the more it just adds to your personal story. Um, and it just seems to get worse and worse and worse. I'm more active and more active, and each night's crazier than the last time, and it keeps you coming back, that's for sure. You come in with one idea and think, okay, this happened last time, so we're gonna nail this, and you go out and it's changed completely. I mean, it's still the same things going on, but it's like whatever in here is just toying with you, messing with you. You think you get a grasp on it and he changes things up and it's something completely different, uh, which is very unusual. You know, a lot of the places I've gone to, same thing. You go and do it once, you know, it's pretty much done. There, you, you've seen the footstep or heard the footsteps or seen the door close. But this place, I mean, it's, it's like a giant game of paranormal cat and mouse. Oh yeah. How are you feeling, dude? Pissed off. Sick of all this fing noise. Oh. I just went too far. How is that supposed to happen? What wasn't supposed to happen? Nobody cared about him. What was his name? Michael. Michael. What about Michael? Choked Michael. Dude, what's going through your head? I don't know. Like, I just like tried to zone out. Yeah. You choked. Michael. Now I like just sat here and chilled and like did the deep breaths and Yeah. That was freaking weird, dude. Yeah, that was a little creepy. So, we've had a couple possessions in, in my presence. Then Johnny was possessed earlier in the principal's office, which is right here. And Johnny said when I walked in, he felt this like hatred towards me. Then when I turned to leave, Patty was standing at the door. And I had said, if you need me, come find me. And as I walked by Patty, I saw her like plunge. And she said she had the overwhelming urge to push me down the stairs. Well, I hadn't been in this room, which is off the principal's office. It was the dressing room of the girls. I walked in here just now and I looked around and it's kind of in shambles, you can see. You know, there's just stuff everywhere. And I look over here. And this disc, if you can read it, says, go, Hollywood. Okay. It just says, go, Hollywood. So, obviously, they don't want me here. But I ain't leaving. Oh, thank you. Just turn it on all the way, just right at once. One. Two, three, four, five. <gasps> oh, 
my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I've got major chills right now. Major, major chills. Ferrari's different because you can never plan ahead for what you're going to interact with that night. This place changes on a whim and you can come here one time and it's never silent. It's never completely dead as far as activity goes. There's always something that's going on. But you can come here one time and there's a lot less activity and then you're like, okay, maybe this place is dying down and you come back the next time and it's the craziest thing you can ever experience. And so you walk in these doors and you might think that you have an idea for what you're going to run into, but in all real realism, you have no clue. You don't like him, do you? Huh? Jesse, you in there? <laughs> you look at him. Stay strong, Jess. Was it can't do anything to you. Wesley can't do anything. He's weak. What, you hear that? He just wants to get attention. That's all he wants to do. That's and weird. this is twice you've gotten into this man. You're getting weaker. You can't hold him like you did. He's better than you. He's stronger than you. He's not a child. Is that one of your children you mess around with? So let him go and get out now. I got you, Jess. Push him out. Send him out of you. You're stronger than him. Send Push him out. Bye-bye, Wes. I feel your grip listening. Let him go. You're getting weaker. You're getting weaker. Oh yes, you are. Go now. Why do you hate Nick so much, huh? Let him go. Let him go. No, he's Let gone. Let him go. He's gone. Get him out of you. He's out. Regain control. Push him out. Back. Yeah. You good? Yeah, I'm still all tingly though. Now, speaking of the investigations. Most of the reports and claims that seem to come into this place based on paranormal activities seem to support the idea that this floor, the third floor, is the most active, but also the most terrifying. Wesley. Wesley. Wow, every time we 
to say your name, it gets darker. Leslie. We're hearing like growls. Dude, we heard that in here too. And moans. Yeah, we heard like a. A female. Dude, yeah. We were hearing a really growl. loud growl. Yeah, no. when you said I'm gonna get you or something like that. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, when I said loud, it. Loud, yeah. loud. Really? And then it got really dark in here, like you couldn't even see yeah. anything. I was going up to the third floor and everybody else was downstairs and I was just going up there. I don't even remember why, but I opened up the door and as I looked around the corner up the stairs, I could just see the principal with his arms crossed and his suit and everything. And he was just sneering down his nose at me. And that was, that was actually my first time I ever saw full apparition. So that was a really, really big experience for me. When then, me and DJ were up on the third floor and uh, I was whistling, and I ended my whistling, and right when I ended it, you just hear a <laughs> nice big bang on metal locker upstairs. And that got my heart racing pretty good. <laughs> that was really scary. Uh, that was probably the scariest thing that's happened to me here. Up on the third floor, when me and a couple other investigators were just messing around, knocking on the bathroom door, trying to get a response, and then we just gave up because nothing was happening, and then a couple seconds later, something just slammed on the bathroom door. Please, seriously, when we go back out of here, I want to just... Hold on. That was a knock on that, wasn't it? It was almost like... That was, that was the door. Yeah. When we go back out of here, I want to just... When we go back out of here, I want to just... When we go back out of here, I want to... Just for like do -do. It was the bathroom door? Yeah. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> Open it up and then close it the way you did. Okay. Right here, buddy. That wasn't that. That was no. Sound like someone went. That's it. Yep. It was hit from the outside. Don't be dumb. Bonus Seth, because I found something. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to use this or not. I have music playing because I'm freaking out right now. But I felt that pinch on my leg. Oh, what the? I just felt a pinch on my leg. And that really freaking hurt. And I find, let's see if I can get it, this, it's on my thigh, and it hurt pretty freaking bad when it happened. I mean, it was a pinch, and I didn't really think much of it, but I'm kind of freaked out by it. Now as we sift through all the claims that come into this building, they all seem to focus on one man, one entity. Now he's called the principal, the crazy man, and several other things, but they all seem to focus on one primary location, and that's this one, the principal's office at the Ferrar School.
Can you, can you do that again to somebody? Come on, man, I'm by a woman. <laughs> Hell no. Yeah, I heard that. Hell no. Hell no. Why, Why not? Us? Look at that. Hold on. It's crazy. Are you scared? <laughs> I heard thunder. Yeah, right it. before. It was like. Jordy, like, pick your <laughs> movie. <laughs> like, <laughs> guess I won't be the one being thrown. Sweetheart, you weren't leaning. Were you leaning? <laughs> no, 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 I wasn't. It was, it was, was a I, it was I'm like this. Yeah. Like, nah, I can feel the doorknob moving. Yeah, she felt the doorknob moving, and I heard it. That's the little girl's changing room. Got a little muscle for you there, big guy. Meet my friend Travis. Let's go have a word with the principal, dude. Be careful that he might have to take you inside. Yep. I was about <laughs> Shut that door for now. Dude. We'll uh, just kind of back off a little bit. Yeah. Where's Seth at? Seth! <laughs> you got shoved. What's up? I shoved him into the wall. You what? shoved him into the wall? Right here. It's <laughs> like that right there. Get up there. In the hall right there. Okay. It's like still on the damn wall. That's awesome. Like, there, there you go, dude. There you go. There you go. <laughs> this is the guy that didn't believe? Yes. It's <laughs> <laughs> pretty good evidence right there. <laughs> 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 I, you know, as far as the places, we've been a lot of places all over the country, and I would say this is probably one of the most active places I've been in, as far as, as, as how, many things, how many times things happen, happen to various people at different times, uh, different techniques were used, and we still got, got, uh, got results. So I say, you know, for, it's not really a big place, um, but it was very active. We, we got stuff here all the time. And the one thing I noticed, that we have, there have been places we've been where you get stuff all the time. One thing about here is visual. I have not seen, I mean, I, I've seen apparitions before. You see one here, in one building, maybe a couple investigations later, maybe you're lucky to see something else. I probably saw something three times at least. Uh, he saw one, I know Johnny saw one. I saw his first one here. Uh, all the guests were seeing different things, and you have to believe it because, you know, I actually chased something, went up the stairs, went around, and still saw it. It's something I've never experienced before. So visually, this place has a lot. Nothing. That was something. Yeah. That was definitely something. We can't recreate that. No. Holy so God. we got... It's still going! It's still going! Go, 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 go over there! Oh, oh, oh. I've got electricity at my fucking back right now! The pull Chris Farley, my pants are coming down. I can't run up the thing. But he can't even breathe. Something was staring. Something was right at the top of the stairs, man. Shadow? Shadow, it wasn't. It wasn't like a shadow person. It was like someone standing in the dark. We've never turned a corner. It was moving as fast there. as if someone was running. You think about how much running went up and down these stairs over huh? the years. You think about how much running went up and down these stairs over the years. I mean, could it be residual? I mean, 
Kidding. Something something responding to what to the no, bags not, four times I'm in a row. The running part, the moving up and down these stairs. This has got to be a hot spot. So many freaking no, kids went up and down this. It's, thing. I'll tell you why it's not residual. For one, it's just a feeling. Two it was there was a second landing right there on the other side. It was right in the middle. I looked up. It was right there. As soon as I looked up, it was like shit. Goes up the stairs. As soon as I rounded the stairs, it was about halfway down here, and you could see it running this way. What was that? Whoa. What was that? Did you hear that? Yeah. No. Did you hear that? Yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't hear anything. Here's I thought it was a quarter going off. I didn't think it was here. It goes, it goes, it goes, it goes yeah. a little scream. It goes loud as shit, dude. I'm telling you, I caught it on the recorder. Okay, I'm going to. I caught it on this for sure. I heard it. Mark heard time, it. girl screaming. Man, it's hard to sum up for our school. Whoa. Uh, just crazy. Just crazy experience. You just gotta come here and just experience it yourself, basically. If I could uh, define one word, or use one word to define, define this building, it would be crazy. And, I mean, there's just so much stuff that goes on and you never know how, it, how the building's gonna react to a certain night. Unpredictable would probably be one of the best words to describe it. It's you never know what to expect every time. You can't come in thinking this is what's going to happen tonight. This is what we're going to experience here. Like, I, I just, I don't know how to even describe it. Um, if I could sum up the first school, I would say that it's, it's smart. Um, it knows you. It knows, it, it feels your fear. It feeds on that fear. Um, it's just, it's smart about it. it it's terrifying. It's absolutely terrifying. But hands down, probably the best visual place I've ever seen. I don't know. The place is absolutely crazy. It's almost like a personal vendetta war to try and figure out. Uh, words can't even really describe this place. To sum up Ferrar is, is a pretty difficult task because, like I've said, it changes on a whim. So you can say it's one thing and come back it's something completely different. It's a haunted location that is constantly evolving and changing and becoming things that you didn't realize could become in the paranormal field. It has highs, it has lows, it has extremes. It can be hot, it can be cold. This place is unlike any other haunted location I've ever been to because you can walk in that door and face something that you've never faced before the previous 5, 10, 15, 20 times you've been here. So it's, it's, it's constantly changing and you never know what to expect.